Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of FTB Skies Let's Play. The last episode we kind of jumped around a lot uh, creating my reactor and my turbine. So today we are going to focus on all of the machines that are going to get us to the fuel stage that we need to actually get these guys up and running. So I, I looked it up and uh the 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 best kind of way to do it would be uh i mean kind of the only way to do it is biofuel starting with biofuel and ending up with uh fissile fuel so to do that there's one more machine that i need and to get that machine i need uh hdpe sheets so i need this guy this guy uh for the pellets the pellets will then get me the sheets. So, I don't think I need sheets forever. I might later, I don't know. So, I figured out that the best way to get the HDPE sheets, I've got a spreadsheet notepad thing over on the side. So we need to get melon slicers and a crusher, which gets us biofuel. It'll get us seven at a time, and biofuel I think we'll need later anyway, so it's good to keep that around. Uh, you need water to make oxygen and hydrogen. Uh, water plus hydrogen plus the biofuel uh, equals the substrates, which then the substrates can be used to make the HDPE sheets or pellets with oxygen and liquid ethylene. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. So we're going to try and do that. I built out this little platform right next to my reactor, and we are going to try to... Uh, make these machines in the most compact and reasonable way possible. So the first thing I'm gonna need here is my crusher. And I could probably, so my plan is that I'm just gonna use flux point to get power up here for now, um, using my red channel, which is connected to my create system. Uh, so I could potentially just tear out this little circle of blocks here. Every time I'm up on this island, the lag starts kicking in. I think it's because now there's so much stuff trying to like take its way from my system. Uh, and then I can put down my universal cable, which yes, the universal cable is the one that uses RF, so I'm going to come around kind of in this pattern here. I'm sure I don't all, I, I'm sure I don't need all of that, but we will see. And then I'm going to take a flux point and I'm going to come underneath really quick right here. And I'm just going to plop you, if I can, on that guy. And then we're going to connect you to the power gen network. And then we're going to keep falling and then we're going to float our way back to the top. My jetpack is almost out of fuel and I can't figure out how to recharge it. I thought I could recharge it on just a regular charging station, but that does not seem to 100% be the case. So you are outputting 5,000, which is fantastic. I need to get you into pull mode. So then this is gonna start filling up with power all the way around which will then start powering my machines. So I've got my crusher here, and that is going to get, like I said, melons. So really, I should move my network receiver and everything over here so I don't have to run too many cables for inputs and outputs. So I'll do that once I get the machines in the order that I need them. So you are receiving power, that's fantastic. So then I need water in an electrolytic separator. So my electrolytic separator is this guy. So I'm gonna probably just pull water from you as well from that sink. So I may want to stretch this even farther and just come here or I can just run cable around the back. Or that could be another thing that I use. Okay, so I could probably just pull from my system as well. So the electrolytic separator is gonna get water in you. 
and then water in the electrolytic separator turns into oxygen and hydrogen and then I need water plus hydrogen plus biofuel in a pressurized reaction chamber and that's going to get me my substrates and then liquid ethylene where did I say liquid ethylene comes from liquid ethylene comes from condensing regular ethylene which is going to be the secondary output from the reaction chamber with the substrates so that's fine so then I need the condensator, which is going to get me from regular ethylene or from liquid ethylene to regular ethylene because then I need or the opposite. I'm sorry. It's the other way around. So regular ethylene plus liquid or in the condensator equals liquid liquid plus oxygen plus a substrate in another pressurized reaction chamber gets me the HDPE pellets and then HDPE pellets in an enrichment chamber is going to get me what I need. So I'm just going to dump that back into the system because my enrichment chamber and everything is down there. So I do need to move this guy. And then I need, I'm need. i going to need to reconnect my network receiver, which is fine. So I'm actually just going to store you right here. So network receiver, crafting monitor. So then I'm going to have to come down here and reclaim my network card. And then I'm going to have to use that network card to then reconnect to that and then I'm gonna have to fly back down here so this this is hopefully the last spot that my card and receiver is gonna be in because I don't want to have to keep flying back and forth uh, then eventually I can start crafting my cables and everything and that should just dump back into my system hunky-dory so connect you and then we fly back <laughs> And we should be good to go once I connect this guy right here. And then we should be good because, like I said, all of my enrichment chamber stuff is down here. So do I need to teach you HTPE sheets really quickly? Probably so. HTPE sheets come from pellets, but it only takes three pellets in an enrichment chamber to get one sheet. And that just comes from a standard enrichment chamber that hopefully doesn't mess up. Okay, you're, you're just the, okay, you're the infusion factory, so you're the one that has that. Okay, so hopefully that can just go in there and we will be good to go. So I just need to reconnect and I need to get all of my cables so I can start exporting um, melons into my crusher. So cable, I need a little bit of you. I'm going to need an exporter, which I probably need to craft, which I am missing flux crystals. I still need to teach my system how to make flux, fl flux crystals. So let me get what I need to make for that. So I need quartz. I need charged Sardis quartz. I need regular nether quartz, which I need to actually start making some more of. And I have redstone in my inventory. Is there water up here? There is. Fantastic. Uh, let me get the magnet off of me. Because this magnet can't be turned off and on. So I need to throw you, 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 and we'll just make as many as we can with that. Once all of my quartz goes away. And then we should be good to make more K 
cables and exporters and importers. So exporter. Let me go ahead and probably make, I don't wanna make 10, let's make like five. But I'm now I'm missing quartz. Well, of course I am. Uh, so can I make like three, I can make two it seems. Nope, I can make one. All right, I do need to start getting some quartz then, which means I need to go back down there and start sifting up some smooth, uh, some soul sand. Or is there another way to make quartz? What does quartz dust do? I turn dust can I turn quartz dust into anything oh I don't have that much quartz dust anyway uh, and a crystallizer you can be turned back into or in an enrichment chamber you can be turned back but I don't have enough for it to really matter all right so what quests do I have Oh, because I did some create stuff. All right. So let me get all of my importers and exporters crafted, and we will return to set up all of this. All right, so I went ahead and I also made a phytogenic insulator because I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it here with my melon seeds and then I'm just gonna have to uh, export water into the system so that's gonna have to come from somewhere I could probably just do it through this but I do already have water in my system here so I'm gonna come underneath actually so we'll dig down here which means I'm gonna need some more cable. Hopefully I've uh, gotten enough um, like quartz and all of that. So let me just go ahead and make like 10 of these. Okay. So then I can come down here. I don't also know how to do hover mode on this thing. I thought I had it turned on, but it just, it, it doesn't work. Like I go to option, I go to keybinds, and I search toggle hover mode and I've set it to this key the tilde key but maybe it doesn't work on this jetpack maybe this jetpack doesn't have a hover mode because like I'm, I'm, I'm definitely pressing that key and it's not like it's bound to anything else so I, I don't know about that uh, so I'm just gonna have to like hopefully not do that and not fall completely down um, let's see where's the best place to connect to this would be here nope not with that with just a regular cable and then probably tuck in here and that should export now and I can set you to uh, import on the back and you are just going to import water so fluid water and hopefully if I did this correctly that pulls from my system it does so that's gonna start just cranking out melons for me i know that i do have some melons already in the system so we're not going to super worry about it for now but eventually i could run out so it, it would be good to have that there so this is going to be an exporter as well and i did some tier upgrades 
and I had crafted so I can go from here to here to here to here and that's just gonna be able to separate everything out a lot better so let me do your imports let me reset everything so on the back you're going to input items which will be up here and you are going to be told to export melon slices which is going to do that and hopefully so let, let me get some like speed and stack upgrades One stack upgrade, which I'm missing sand and gla glass now. Okay, I because I, I I took out of my system how to make glass, um, just because I wasn't using it up here. I also am gonna need some like uh, upgrades for noise and everything. All right, so let me get some sand. I think there's like a furnace up here somewhere. So let me also get some coal. Let me just hunt down a furnace. There's a blast furnace right here, I think, or a smoker. That's a smoker, so that's not going to work. All right. Give me a minute. Let me see if there's a furnace up here, or I could probably just make one. That would be the easiest way. All right, so let me get some glass. Let me get some stacking speed upgrades. We'll come back. So I am very good on biofuel now. So biofuel needs to output to the pressurized reaction chamber, this guy right here. So I'm going to, hmm, how do I want to do this? I could potentially interface that, I think. I've had bad things with interfaces for some reason I can't figure out how to get them to work so if I could do that let me pop an interface here and then you're still inputting from the back and you are allowed to export melons so let me just try to like take these out are you gonna imp are you gonna put more melons in doesn't look like it but it could also just be because you're full now so then you are going to output input can I do input and output to the back and auto eject on okay so you just put you should have just put all of your biofuel into the system Great, so speed and stack upgrades I still need. So speed and stack upgrade are gonna go in the interface here and that should pull everything out. So I'm gonna put another interface here connected with, so the electrolytic separator is gonna need to get water. So you are going to need an exporter to connect you fluids water and you are going to start electrolytic separating into hydrogen and oxygen uh, and for now I think I can just say to like dump the excess Or I think you'll just do your own thing. Okay, so I am going to need some more muffler upgrades for sure. Let me go ahead and get like 10 of those. Because I know that every every machine up here is going to need them. Alright, so you are good. You're separating hydrogen and oxygen from water. Perfect probably speed and stack upgrade you as well it's gonna say I'm 
missing sand. Yeah, so what I've been doing is just taking some sand here, throwing it in this furnace, and then I forgot that I had this temporal pouch, and I've just kind of been increasing the speed on it. I don't have a lot of speed in my thing, so it's not really going to matter. So hydrogen needs to then be output to... Can inter Does interface have fluid mode? It does not, but it should just be able to import, export anything, I believe. Like, if I were to say no. Okay. And also, you are not inputting from the back. So, interfaces, I don't know, can put stuff in. I don't know. Because you should be... What if I just set you to that? No. Okay, so you probably need an importer and an exporter on the top and bottom of you. So... So we'll take this. We'll throw down another exporter. And then we'll just throw an importer on top with a cable connecting. And you are set to export melon. With stack up speed upgrades. And you are good. Let me throw some sand back in here. Did I get my... Speed. Did I get my stack? I did not. Okay. So speed and stack upgrades go. You are probably going to need an importer on top of you. So I need to export the hydrogen which is a gas, so I don't think the RF system can handle gases. Because I don't think there's any kind of gas storage block. Yeah, so you probably just need to be output gases directly to the next machine, because you, the pressurized, you have oxygen in you now. Are you getting the oxygen from this guy? I think you might be. Yeah, because you're auto-outputting to the right. And I'm assuming you're just set to input from the left. Yeah, okay, so you're getting the, the oxygen. So the hydrogen I need to get rid of. So water plus hydrogen plus biofuel in a pressurized reaction chamber, which is you. So I need to get rid of this guy for now, because we might end up just putting an exporter on him. So you actually need to input water and you need to take hydrogen from this guy. So you need to output your dark blue to the right. You don't need to output anything to the left. And you need to input. So I think, can I dump you? How do I dump you out? Because I don't need. All right, so I looked up something and it says that something called a gauge dropper can potentially Get rid of unwanted gases, but it didn't say how. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, I think there was just some lag. Okay, cool. So that got the oxygen out of there. Awesome. Uh, I need my muffler upgrades for you. Luckily, I've just gone ahead and made a whole bunch. Where did the other ones go? Didn't I make 
10? I thought I made 10. You shouldn't have accepted 10. Did only four come in my inventory? I. Yeah, okay. That, that was weird. All right, so now you're getting hydrogen and water. Hydrogen plus water plus biofuel. So you can't do liquids and... Okay, so now can I put an interface on you? perhaps and then say for you to input items from the top and you are going to take biofuel from the system with speed and stack upgrades inventory issues um all right what can i do i not need i don't need you i don't need you probably don't need you probably don't need any of you i can probably put away all of the stuff that i built with the last time but we're gonna keep it for now all right so you are going to do biofuel and I just need to connect you with a, another cable here. And you should be getting biofuel and outputting it here. So, right? <laughs> I hate this. I don't like interfaces. Because I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. So you need to input and output from here but you're not pulling items in you gotta pull the items in so input from the top maybe I'm using interfaces wrong I don't know so I thought they were meant to be used as like an importer and an exporter in one block maybe I'm doing it wrong Fluid interface, regular interface. You should be outputting to the top now. And now you are full on oxygen. So I need to get rid of your oxygen and put you somewhere else. Do I need oxygen for anything else? Liquid ethylene plus oxygen plus the substrate in a pressurized reaction chamber gets me my HDPE pellets. So I'm just for now gonna take this guy Put you up here and you can output your gas cyan to the top. That should fill you up with oxygen. That should fill you up. You should still be getting hydrogen. I just need to figure out how to get the substrates into the system.